every single day I'm gonna make something great That's my way Every single day Is that all the orange chicken? Huh? Is that all the orange chicken but it's not cooked yet? Hey YouTube family, how's everybody doing today? I hope you're doing all right. So I'm back. Yes, I'm finally back with another cooking video. Cooking with my Shalina. You have requested a cooking video, and so here we are. I'm going to be cooking some orange chicken today. I do have a video here on the channel where I cooked some orange chicken before, but this process is way more faster and way more easier. So thankfully, I do have a fry daddy, and if you have a fry daddy, this process will be way easier, but if you don't, that's okay. So I start off by turning my deep fryer on, filling it with the oil. Um, I fill it all the way up to the line that it needs to go to. Depending on the type of deep fryer you have, it could be different for you. But mine takes one size of that size of uh, oil. I don't even know. I think it's like 32 ounces maybe. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. Um, I'm using chicken thighs, boneless, skinless chicken thighs. Before, I was using chicken breasts. But I find that the chicken thighs taste better for this recipe because it's just more juicier to me that's just my opinion um but i take the chicken thighs the boneless skinless chicken thighs and i cut them up into cubes like chicken chicken nugget size you know like um the chick-fil-a size chicken nuggets i cut all the fat off as much as i can if you do not have a pair of kitchen scissors you need to invest in a pair of kitchen scissors i got those from dollar tree they're the betty crocker brand and they work great they have cut down my cooking and prep time in the kitchen like in half because i used to actually cut this by hand so i'm so glad that i have some kitchen scissors now Now, after we get all our chicken cut up in our little cubes, um, I did season my chicken with lemon pepper and Creole seasoning in a bowl. The footage got lost. It wasn't recording or something. I don't know. My kids are in the kitchen moving my camera around and stuff like that. But anyways, um, I did season the chicken and then I put flour in a warmer bag, a double bagged it, and I seasoned my flour also. So I put the cute chicken inside of the bag, shake it up, get it all coated with flour. Then I'm going to drop it in my deep fryer. Now I'm going to start prepping my cabbage for the um, noodles we're having with the orange chicken. It's like a chow mein or lo mein noodle basically. Um, so yeah, I got the cabbage. I cleaned it off. I'm peeling the outer layer off of the cabbage, rinsing it again. Then I'm going to chop it up. I'm also going to be using a yellow onion or is it a white onion? I don't know. What is this? Y'all tell me. I can't remember. I think it's a yellow onion, white onion. I don't know. Anyways, I'm going to be cleaning that off, chopping that up, and I'm going to be putting some a little bit of uh, cooking spray in my pan, and I'm going to saute the um, onion just a little bit before I add the cabbage.
add in a tiny bit of water. Now it's time to prep for the sauce that's going in the noodles. So I'm using some light brown sugar. You can use regular brown sugar. I like the light brown sugar. That's probably what, about a cup maybe? I don't know because I just be eyeballing it, y'all. Then that's some soy sauce that I just had left in the cabinet or in the refrigerator. So I'm trying to use that up before I open my new one. But as you can see, it's not going to be enough, which I knew that going in. That's why I had bought the other one. So, we're just going to put soy sauce to cover the brown sugar to help, um, you know, incorporate it. I can't even think, y'all. Yes, make sure your stuff has seals on it because with all this stuff going on with people doing all these challenges and tampering with food, I don't understand it. But make sure things that are supposed to have seals have seals on it. That's why I was playing it like that. But, yeah, we're going to take the soy sauce. We're going to cover that brown sugar up. Then we're going to stir it real well to incorporate the brown sugar with the soy sauce. Now, as you can see, I've had my water boiling over there in the pot. Getting ready for these spaghetti noodles. That's all you need is some spaghetti noodles. You can buy the ones that are already broken in half, but I don't know. I just buy those and break them myself. Um, you don't need to use the whole box unless you're feeding a huge crowd. Um, I only used, I'm not sure how much. It's just probably like a little bit left, as you can see right there. So we're going to let the noodles boil till they get nice and tender. And then it's almost chow time. So I've cooked my chicken cubes in um, batches. This is the first batch that we're going to go. Well, it's probably like two or three batches actually, but we got enough to go ahead and start putting our orange sauce on top. And oh uh, yeah, I had to take a little bite. Mm -hmm, it was good too. So we're going to take our orange sauce and we're going to pour that over the chicken cubes and we're going to stir it very well. Now that we got our chicken all nice and coated with the orange sauce, I'm going to put it in a oven safe dish. I already have my oven preheat to 400. I'm going to pop this in the oven to get the sauce nice and glazed over the chicken and to also keep it warm as we wait for the noodles to be ready. Now that the noodles are ready, we're going to put that nice little sauce that we made over the noodles. You're going to have to give it some more stirs because the sugar will like just gravitate toward the bottom so just give it a good stir and pour it in there then we're going to add the cabbage we're going to add the cabbage with a little bit of the cabbage juice but not all the cabbage i'll save the rest of the cabbage for another day <laughs>
Okay. You got. I'm get yours next. Got it. Be careful. Two hands here, darling. This one's yours. I don't want that. You don't want the noodles? Still? I want the chicken. Just the chicken. Okay. I'll just put a little bit in there. I want like, like this much. Grab it. Here. Can I talk to them? Yeah, say hi. Hi. <laughs> Welcome to the future. And I want and I'm about to give a mom a hug and eat my shoe. Oh, there you go. Hold it with two hands. Don't spill it. You got it? All right. Braylon? Mm. I want a spoon. No. I want a spoon. You want a spoon? It's good, Mom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's very good. What does this move? I ain't gonna be able to see that. Mm -hmm. Won't see that? Okay, then I can do this. Can I do that, dear? Not right now. Floss. Justice. Welcome. All right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this cook with me video. This orange chicken and noodles was delicious. The kids loved it. Um, if you're not following me on all my other social media outlets, be sure to follow me. Everything you need to know will be in the description box down below. In the comment section, give me some ideas on some foods you want to see me cook. And if you're not already subscribed, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And like always, until next time, stay you, stay beautiful, and stay unique. Bye, guys.